the worst parasite. Fasciolopsis buski is the fluke, flatworm, that I find in every case of cancer, HIV infection, Alzheimer's, Crohn's disease, Kaposi's, endometriosis, and in many people without these diseases. Its life cycle involves six different stages. 1. Egg Expelled with bowel movement onto soil, washed by rain into ponds. 2. Miracidia Hatches from egg in water, has cilia, can swim vigorously, and must find intermediate snail host in one to two hours or may be too exhausted to invade. 3. Redia Develop inside Miracidia as little balls until expelled. Those are mother Redia, and each one bears daughter Redia for up to eight months, all still inside the snail and living on the fluids in the lymphatic spaces. Similarly, daughter Redia are continually developing Cercaria. 4. Cercaria Have a tail. Use it to exit from snail and swim to a plant. If the snail is feeding on a plant, Cercaria can latch onto plant with suck her mouth and start to insist, form a cocoon, within minutes. Tail breaks off and swims away to dissolve. 5. Meta Cercaria Two walled cysts. The outer wall is very sticky, but as you eat the plant it is stuck to, the least pressure will break it, leaving the cyst in the mouth. The almost unbreakable inner cyst wall protects it from chewing, and the keratin like coat prevents digestion by stomach juices. However, when it reaches the duodenum, contact with intestinal juices dissolves away the cyst wall and frees it. It then fastens itself to the intestinal lining and begins to develop into an adult. 6. Adult Lives in your intestine and can produce 1,000 eggs per bowel movement and live many years. Note that the adult is the only stage that normally lives in the human, and then only in the intestine. Fasciolopsis depends on a snail called a secondary host for part of its life cycle. But when your body has solvents in it, the other five stages can develop in you. If propyl alcohol is the solvent, the intestinal fluke is invited to use another organ as a secondary host. This organ will become cancerous. If benzene is the solvent, the intestinal fluke uses the thymus for its secondary host, setting the stage for AIDS. Wood alcohol invites pancreatic flukes to use the pancreas as a secondary host. This leads to pancreatic dysfunction, which we call diabetes. If xylene or tuline are the solvents, I typically see any of four flukes using the brain as a secondary host. If methyl ethyl ketone, MEK, or methyl butyl ketone, MBK, are the solvents, the uterus becomes a secondary host and endometriosis is a likely result. This is a new kind of parasitism based on pollution. I call the diseases caused by fluke stages in inappropriate locations fluke disease. This is from pages 33 to 35 from the book The Cure for All Diseases by Hulda Clark. Find out more about parasites and pollution at huldaclark.com.